Right, well, I'm down here with everyone's favourite. I don't know what title should I give you now. Is it travel correspondent? Guy, <laughs> Guy Martin, we've seen you at this event for so many years. What is how the appeal? Years have been going, how many years have been going? How many years have been going? Seven years, seven years. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I, I did, I think I missed one. I think I missed one year. Um, well, it's a bit oddball, isn't it? Yeah, get, get a race, stuff like that. That motorbike racing, as you did it and, and I did it, it's never changed, has it? It's been the same bikes racing around for the past 40 bloody years, and I like something that's a bit different, and I mean, I'm not very competitive here. And you've had a small crash already, Guy. I've had a crash, I brought the foot back. See, you've made a mess of that. I know, I've made a pig's ear of that, haven't I? I don't know if you're aware of this, you've got some really stiff competition. You're you know. racing against you, are <laughs> Yeah. What are you riding? It's a Virago, that's a chopper, isn't it? That's not a chopper. It's a, it's a chopper. That's not a chopper. It's a chopper. <laughs> that's not a chopper, mate. <laughs> I think there's only one person being cheated here, and that's you. You're cheating yourself. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Right. I feel bad. I feel bad now. I think the only way that you could sort of feel comfortable is if you took your front wheel out. And then you beat me. I'm like, yeah, fair play. You beat me fair and square. You're cheating yourself. You're cheating yourself. <laughs> you're cheating yourself. You're cheating. Well, I'm clearly cheating myself. We'll catch up with Guy later. Welcome back to Dirtquake. It's the one we've been waiting for, the chopper final. Six laps this time. We're on board with Guy Martin on the extraordinary Crazy Horse Harley. Now, he's been admiring that bike on the right, number four when you see him, Sam Neville. That's a two-stroke Yamaha motocross engine, and he's put it on the front row. And Neil Hodgson getting some tips off of Gavin. They won't do you any good, mate. He's on a borrowed Yamaha Virago, and he's uh, looking pretty standard to me. And as it hasn't got long forks, we've relegated him to the back of the grid. Quite right, too. <laughs> Wait for the lights, and they're off. The blast off the line, and it is the number two of Sean Gemmell, the builder, uh, as we ride with Guy Martin and everyone oh, else oh. going out in front. But that two-strap machine up the inside into second place. Hot G making a move from the back already. That's Guy Martin. Whatever you do, don't take Guy Martin out, Neil. 2003 world champion showing his style again. But it is the number two of Sean Gemmell, the builder, dressed as Popeye. I wasn't sure if he'd got arm pump or it's Popeye, but I think he is Popeye. And look at that, the Aussie, Ben Saggers, number three, coming through on the uh, 650 Yam. Yeah, that okay. two-stroke, that number four, is absolutely insane. Yeah, and it is a two-stroke. We love them, don't we? Those forks on it are scaffold poles. And oh. as long as this one, though, Guy Martin, obviously no brakes on the front of these machines. Look at that thing he just sat. It's like sitting on a unicycle, really. Hodgson! Neil Hodgson, look at him, 100. He look, he he's look, flying. He looks like he knows what he's doing. He does, doesn't he? Doing a great job there, but Sean Gemmell, he's the man at the moment. That's an NS650, and it doesn't, again, it doesn't look much like a chopper, in fairness. Until you get close to it, you realise there's lumps of old BSA hard tail on Mike it. looks really balanced, doesn't it? Hodgie doesn't look at all balanced. He goes wide around the outside. He looks unbalanced. Fast. He's looking very fast, slips into third place. Can he hold that? Focus and concentration using that back Ooh. brake. You can see his right foot there, just squeezing the back brake, trying to steady the bike into the corners. As he comes up on number three there, Ben Saggers. He's a manager for head and helmets at the moment, but Hodgie's surely going to have a look around Ooh. the outside. Saggers is doing a good job of keeping him back. There's the two-stroke again, and Sean Gemmell has not escaped as I thought he would. No, and Neil Hodgson is now... Uh, he was in second, now he's third again. He just gets out really, really wide. He likes the high, handsome line. Last lap we're on. So, and Hodgie goes down there, and he's wide again. Too wide, surely. Surely he's going to cut back, but he might get the drive, that Yamaha Virago. Oh, that's looking brave. For the grip. That's and down, brave. Too fast, Hodgie. Way too fast. Goes into the lead, but it's never going to work. I don't go that far on the holidays. Has he lost second place? Oh, no, he hasn't. He hasn't. No, he hasn't at all. Sean Gemmell, the builder, gets the win. Neil Hodgson, 2003 world champion, gets second place. And third goes to Ben Saggers. Brilliant. And fourth place to Sam Neville, the agricultural engineer. He has to make do with beating his hero, Guy Martin. Third place in the end, but what a battle. You, I thought you were going to grab Sean's position at one point. I was struggling. I couldn't quite catch him just on his tail the whole time. You enjoyed it, though? Yeah, mate, it was a laugh. It was a real laugh. I'll tell you, great race. I really enjoyed it. Coming from behind, I was go I decided before the race I'm going to stick to the outside line. Yeah, I noticed that. You're going high all the time. Yeah, out in the cush. Yeah, sure. Is it cush? Is that, is that what they call it? I what? think that's in snooker. Oh, my oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> but what, whatever it is, that was my tactic, and I was looking at the bike. It's sort of cheating, because it's not a proper chopper. Yeah, actually, oh, Stuart's inquiry, I think. There might be a disqualification coming. We'll have to look at that one afterwards. Hey, it's a podium finish, Gav. I've not had one for 10 years, and I'm not going to stop talking about it all year. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Congratulations on that one. That was seriously impressive stuff. You enjoyed it? Yeah, yeah, that's brilliant fun, yeah. You feel the pressure from behind, because first it was Ben and then uh, Hodgie was right yeah, on your yeah. tail. Yeah, that two-stroke as well. Cheers. Good stuff, Popeye. <laughs> I 
Andre. Yeah. Andre. Sadly, that's all we've got time for at Dirt Quake this year, but what a way to finish. Second Absolutely again. fine style from this man sticking it on the podium. Uh, do I have to ask your highlight of the day? I don't want to talk about it. Controversial but... is all I can say. Sadly, everyone's got to pack up now and prepare for the next event, which is going to be over in Italy at the beginning of next year. Snowquake is exactly the same, but on ice and with glue wine. Just when you thought it couldn't get any madder. Until next time, remember the rules, have fun and turn left. See you later. Say goodbye, Stephen Jules. Cheers, everybody.